Hey guys, it's Baytastic here and I'm here bringing you guys another video. So today I'm going to do my 29 weeks slash 30 weeks because I'll be 30 weeks this Saturday and that's about the time this video will be uploaded. <laughs> but um, so you guys know the usual, usual. I go into my trusty trusty app and I go to my Ovia app, Ovia Pregnancy. I'll put the little link, link, link thing right here and I'll put it down below, but it is only on mobile. So you get it from the app store. If you have Android, you get it from the Google store. So yeah, check it out if you're pregnant. Okay, so at 29 weeks, my baby is a pineapple. So he's getting pretty big. Like, and guys, look how big his freaking hand is. If you guys can see that. That's like his actual size of his hand and his foot. Like, like so if I put his foot on here, that's how big his foot would be. That's crazy. Okay, so for my 30 weeks, that's 29 weeks, sorry. We're going to read. It says, poo-poo movements are getting less violent and more regular as he grows to the bounds of your womb. He is still moving more and more every day, but you're getting near to the point sometime in the next few weeks where his movements will reach the level where they'll be for the rest of my pregnancy. Um, it says, your growing womb and the pressure can be, can be put on your abdomen means you might experience acid indigestion and as always your increased levels of estrogen and progest progesterone aren't helping you might still be experiencing constipation so try to eat plenty of fiber the house poo poo it says he's the size of a pineapple he's pretty close to his full birth height he's still weighing at almost three pounds so he's getting a little fat guys <laughs> poo poo muscles and lungs continue to mature and he is still he still has plenty of weight to gain so keep up your healthy diet of protein, vitamin C, folate, iron, so that the growth stays steady, strong, and on track. Poopoo will still be kicking it up and moving around in the womb. I put some videos here of him moving. He loves my right side. <laughs> like, he'll just stay in that side or wherever his feet are at and just kick or punch. I'm not sure what movements I'm, oh, excuse me, I'm actually, you know, seeing. But, like, he's a kicker. Especially when I'm, like, chilling and, like, laying down. He's a kicker. Um, it says, how's mom? Um, your body is releasing hormones that relax your muscles, tissues, in preparation for delivering poo-poo, which can slow your digestion. So if you're feeling acid, effects of acid indigestion, there are lots of things that can do to limit that. I have not been feeling any acid indigestions. No, I have been feeling acid indigestions. I just haven't had any heartburn. Let me know if that's the same thing. But, like, I have been feeling, like, a little bit burning, like, in my throat if I eat something I'm not even sure what exactly I would eat that would make me feel that way. And I haven't had any constipation, thank God. <laughs> so hopefully no hemorrhoids, guys, for this pregnancy. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm getting pretty far. Like, this is basically my 29 to 30 weeks. And I'm going to do every two weeks now just because I'm going to the doctors every two weeks. But my pregnancy has been so smooth. <laughs> Like a little too smooth, it got me thinking about labor, like how's my labor going to be? So um, that's why I really haven't been, you know, coming back in and basically give you guys videos on it because it will be mostly me reading the Ovia app and then saying the same things before. It don't have really big changes other than the videos that I will show you of him moving. I still have, you know, the dark under um side boob and all that and my neck has gotten darker but i forgot to mention that in my last video so that's like part of the side boob the hyperpigmentation um that's about it i really since i've been working i realized that my legs have gotten more swollen just from me not you know taking breaks during work so now my job makes sure that i sit down so that's a good thing sometimes when i talk i get out of breath but i'm pretty sure that was like that before I was pregnant, I feel like, in a sense, because I talk really quickly. But another update about me is that I am trying to switch hospitals. So I'm in the midst of switching to hospitals. So I had to, like, do a lot of some stressful stuff with trying to figure out release forms because I didn't want to go all the way there and travel. So dealing with that. But everything is working out. I'm going to read my 30 weeks because that will be this Saturday and literally tomorrow's Friday. I mean, tomorrow's Thursday. So 30 weeks, it says... Poo poo lingo might be falling off as it's closer to delivery day. That's not like that um, cheesy stuff that be on keep them warm. Um, if you haven't already, now could be a great time to start thinking about things like poo poo's crib and the name as he draws closer. Um, 
the lingo it just explains like what that is what i was saying poo poo's furry coat that has been keeping it warm in there and will begin the fall off when he puts enough fat on to keep himself warm poo poo is going to start putting on half a pound each until he's born so he's going to get fat <laughs> i'm hoping cross your fingers he could stay a six pound baby because guys i'm so small and i'm so scared of pushing him out i'm just hoping he stays like a six pound baby like he you know looks out for the cookout for his mama and becomes a six pound baby um it says he's going to be the size of a cantaloupe next week well in two days and he'll weigh about three and a half pounds and um his position it says if your health provider provide provider says poo poo doesn't appear to be moving from the breech position you can ask them about exercises to encourage poo poo into the birth position so at 30 weeks i should be i should be told if he's moving from his bridge position which would be up so that means he'll be going he'll be traveling around to be head down and feet up um they're saying i should be having mood swings which i'm going to talk about because guys <sighs> your girl has been having some some mental stuff going on with her but i'm gonna go you know talk to a therapist about that it says how's mom so next week this is how i should be feeling around now you may notice the return of mood swings that you have left behind the first trimester you might also have periodically symptoms that increase tiredness from right alongside difficult sleeping these issues are common and the important thing is that you you are three quarters of the way done and three quarters of the way to poo poo um, as you approach delivery day, it's increasingly important to start planning out some big things in Poo Poo's life, like his from the transition from the womb to the world is pretty is a pretty drastic one, and you want Poo Poo to be in a comfortable and nurturing environment so he can be as happy and healthy healthy as possible. It is also a good time to start planning ahead about things like where you're going to get supplies like diapers. You'll need diapers and a crib. Even though you're already a mom, it may take your partner a little bit longer to accept parenthood if this is their first child let them talk to and talk and touch poo poo so they can appreciate how huge and cute this change is going to be for them and get used to the idea they're going to be changing a lot of diapers yep my boyfriend is going to be changing poo poo's diapers all the time well we're going to be on schedule but i'm gonna make him i'm gonna make him you know i'll change diapers more. but i'm gonna get on the mood swings Okay, so when I was in school, I dealt with depression, and at first, I didn't really want to say that it was depression, and since I went to a new school, I dealt with so much there, like financial-wise, with like housing and everything, it was like all this drama basically going on with me starting the new chapter of a new um, college. For me, um, not transitioning, transferring from one college to another. So meaning in my depression i wasn't self-harming but i always was wondering why i didn't have the energy to really do anything and i just would basically be in bed all day i would miss class and it was like the days would go past so quickly and i would have to ask myself like what did you do today and it was just a low point in my life because my grades started slipping, I just felt like I wasn't worthy. I felt like I, you know, I just, it was a lot of things going, a lot of bad, you know, thoughts going to my head. Lately, I have been feeling like that again. Um, and I'm guessing just because it's such another big change in my life, like I'm going to be a mom, I'm going to be, you know, um, it's all these new responsibilities and transitioning. And I'm going to try to set goals for myself. Because I don't want to fall back into that extreme sadness where I'm always crying and I'm always just in a funk, in a sense, if you guys can understand that. So I'm working on that and I'm also going to talk to my doctor because, you know, there there is like postpartum depression and I want to be the best mom I can be to my son. Like, I don't want him to, I don't want to be sad when it's such a happy moment when he's here and I'm gonna make sure that I get over this hump first before I get to that hump and try to keep my spirits high I have been praying more I pray at night now sometimes you know I forgot I, I well I forget you know and I've been praying and keeping people in prayers and praying for my own you know mental health and making sure that I'm okay and so far I've been feeling better so another update in my 29 to 30 weeks 
well, getting off of that subject, that was just something I just wanted to share about myself. And if anyone else dealt with, you know, school depression or anything, comment down below so we can have like a discussion. I really um, take my mental health very seriously just from me going through that period where I was in denial and I really wasn't talking to anybody and really just shut the world out. You guys can even like private message me. My socials are right here and you guys can um, mess DM me snap me i will always reply and we can talk about it yeah guys that is my update for my 30 29 weeks to 30 weeks i want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to comment down below if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and if you like this space subscribe to this channel i'm going to keep having my videos keep coming because i'm trying to stay on a sketch oh i'm about to say schedule we're going to try to stay on a schedule and let's get into this belly you guys ready go this is from the side, and him on the other side, and then forward. So he's like a little basketball. Like, it'll be looking like I carry a basketball. I wonder what my shirt looks like that. Okay, and that has been my belly, and thank you guys for watching, and bye.